Welcome back to our Hope series. I'm Melody. Welcome to my channel making Melody Crafts. I'm so excited because I'm going to be having a giveaway. So there will be some instructions in the description. So check that out and hit that subscribe button and let's get started. We are down at the craft table and today we're going to be doing the letter E in our Hope series. If you didn't see the other videos in this Hope series, just check them out. They're pretty cool. So now we're just going to get some layers of just so on here. So let's get some paint into some containers and get going. I want a brown and I really don't have one so I'm just going to mix some things. This is one that I got on sale. This is a Daler Rownie. We're going to make a little brown with orange and black. Okay, that's quite a bit. And this is black licorice. This is a Vicky Booten paint. All right, that's how much paint I've got there. So it's not a whole lot. And let's start stirring it up and watch the magic happen and then we're gonna get brown pretty cool so with these two paints it's about three parts of the orange to one part of the black so i'm just gonna keep on mixing that until i get how much i want and the right color brown that i want all right i've gathered a couple of things that we're going to use to make polka dots so that's what we're gonna put on our letter e just various things of different diameters that i can use to make little tiny polka dots on here and blue and brown are the colors that we'll be using. So that mixed up pretty nicely. And just kind of push some of that white back again and get some of the Ranger Archival and the sepia. But I like to call it brown, as you know. Just kind of hit the edges here. This took like 300 coats of gesso, just kidding. But it really was about four coats of gesso. I don't know, I was just having some issues with it. And it's the same gesso I always use, the Liquitex. For some reason, it just really wasn't working out. But that is all done. So I like how it came out. Oh my goodness, the moment of truth. Let's have some baby wipes ready. <laughs> I want to work slowly. Really can't rush this. So I'm just lightly going in. Oh, nice. There's kind of a lot of paint on there, to be honest, but it's working out. If you haven't seen some of the other videos in our Hope series, uh, check them out. I'll link them here. And I really think Hope is important, not just because of the pandemic and everything that goes along with that, but really just any time. My heart goes out to everyone who's lost someone and maybe you weren't able to be with them. So when you're doing these polka dots, just stay in that spot until the drip happens, kind of like when you're scooping soup out of a bowl. <laughs> I've got a little spot right here that's right next to that that polka dot there and I want to get that. So I'm going to grab a clean skewer and just see what I can do. I don't want to pull that paint to it either. If I need to, I'll just make that a little bit bigger. Looks like I should be all right there. And with the size of this letter, this is kind of how large I want those polka dots to be. I don't want them too too big. Uh, I just want to get the larger ones in first and then I'll go in with a different color and with some smaller polka dots. And I'm just pressing down lightly until it makes contact, pulling up, just stay there until the string like separates and then pull away. That's cute. I'm liking it. And now I'm just going to use a pen that I have and let's see, let's go with the brown. So this is the paint that I mixed myself which I think is so much fun. Let's give that a little test there. Oh, so nice. I'm trying to keep the whole letter in the frame there, but it's kind of tricky. <laughs> it's hard to stay in frame. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. So I will be having a giveaway and the instructions are in the description of this video. This is just so much fun. So far, I think my favorite video in this Hope series was definitely the one from last week with the letter P and all of the bits and bobs and buttons. That was just a lot of fun. I really enjoyed doing that. And when I'm making contact with this, I don't actually feel the letter under what I'm using. It's just the paint that's making contact and then I'm pulling away to get that circle. And of course, you know, just hold whatever you're using straight up and down. It's nice too when the paint is a little bit thick because then it's not gonna run on you. You don't want any drips, obviously, when you're trying to do this. <laughs> unless that works out, unless it just looks like a polka dot, then, you know, go for it. If you want the dots to be smaller, you also just, you know, cannot make as much contact. And when I look at all of these letters that I decorated for this Hope series, it brings me some joy. And polka dots are so much fun. And you know, life isn't always like that, right? And things aren't so easy right now. But we're just going to keep on hoping. And I hope that your day is going well and that things are going well for you and yours and your loved ones. kind of want some that look like they're running off the edge. Glad I only had one cup of coffee today. <laughs> 
I'm gonna try to stay so still doing this. All right, now on to something a little bit smaller. Let's maybe go into the blue again. This blue is actually fabric paint, but it's what I have. I don't wanna go out and get anything else, so I'm just using it. It's, what is it even, I don't even know. It's a plaid paint, you know, from the plaid company, and the color is Distressed, 27892, and a fabric paint. Now to not get my hands and my arm in the paint. <laughs> Well, at least I'm not working with the white gesso now, so it won't show very much on my sweater. <laughs> I'm gonna turn this a little bit. Anytime you're painting, you know, just turn things if it works better for you so that you can reach things better or paint more easily. And where do I need a spot? Where do you see an empty area? Maybe this side here doesn't have as many. So this is the spot. Let me show you. So there on the end of the E, that blue dot right there, the closest large one to the end. There's a tiny, tiny little spot past there. I'm trying to hold that still, but that's really not my forte. <laughs> but that's what I want to do. I want to just get that a little bit, get that a little bit bigger. So let's see what we can do. Oh, there we go. All right, that's better. It's not absolutely perfect, but I'm gonna say that's all right. I'm just not gonna worry about it. I think this would be a great rainy day activity. It takes a while, it's fun. You can choose whatever colors that you like. I definitely don't want it to look like any certain pattern. I do want it to look quite random. Now let's go to the brown, and I'm just gonna stick with this smallest one. And I'm not a counselor or a therapist or anything like that, but I do just enjoy bringing people cheer and hope. Love bringing joy to people. All right, I think I'm happy with how that's turning out. I do want to add a little bit of blue in a couple other spaces. And at the end of this video, I'll show you the item that I'm giving away that I purchased just for you. Because I really do appreciate you. I appreciate all my subscribers. I don't know if you can tell the difference kind of far away. I will zoom you in so you can see because I can see the difference clearly between the blue and the brown, but then when I look up, I don't know, I can't see that as much. And aim it towards my ring light there, which I have on the side. So I'm gonna work right here for a little while. All right, so that's what we've got. I have enjoyed this so much. I've enjoyed this series so much. And now I'd love to show you the item that I'm gonna be giving away. So you know how much I really enjoy all of the Ranger Archival products. And so I chose some ink pads that are Ranger Archival ink. It is acid-free, permanent, and waterproof. It is just so handy. It works on so many surfaces. I do not work for them. I am not sponsored by them. This video is not sponsored by them, but I just thought this is such a neat product and it's a $12 value. So this color is Paradise Teal and this color is Shadow Gray. That's what we'll be giving away. So check out the instructions in the description to enter for that giveaway. And again, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you had some fun or learned something, why not subscribe? And I'll catch you later.